Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from Check Beads Exclusive, also known as Craftica. In case you're interested in this box, I will leave a link for it down there below in the description bar. And I'm also going to leave individual links to the materials I get in this box in case you just want a few things, but not everything in the box. So let's open this, see what our theme's going to be. And it is code... Sea and sand. Oh, beach. It's going to be beachy. It says there's 26 items. And it's not breaking it down to lots. So. It's probably going to have like a, two of the same thing. They're different colors under two different numbers. Is what I'm trying to say. I hope you know what I'm talking about. They used to break it down to lots. I don't think they do it anymore. So there's the list, and I used to go over this list all the time, but then you guys started asking me to put links to what I get in the box down there so you can just buy directly what you want, and so I started doing that, so I stopped doing this, and I pretty much know what a lot of these beads are, so yeah. Oh my gosh. This, this looks like it's going to be really awesome. Oh my gosh, they got the star seed beads. I love the uh, beige. I love the beige. Oh my gosh, yellow Picasso. Never see yellow Picasso. It's rare. Okay, this is going to be epic. You ready for this? We have travertine. Check table cut. Flat square beads. This is blue. This is not turquoise. And it's travertine. Because it's brown on the sides. That's how we know. Okay, those are gorgeous. I don't have that color. I usually have turquoise. That's what I usually get. Okay, so those are awesome. And these, I love these. This color is called beige. This is 4 millimeter check fire polish beads. We don't get this. Or we don't see, I should say, this color a lot. But I have gotten often in this box. And recently I got the um, beige and check Drux in 4 and 6 millimeter sizes. I love them. It's so pretty. And you know what it makes me think of? Caramel. It makes me think of caramel. Isn't that pretty? And I love the little stripe in the middle. So cool. So those beads are faceted. In case you didn't know. Fire polish means that it's faceted. Okay, there's a nice amount in there. I wonder if it's uh, 50, maybe a little bit less. Those two are pretty together. And then we have three millimeter check fire polish beads in white. Same bead, one size smaller, just a different color. Well, we got trilobites. What is that going to be? That's a weird color. I don't think I've seen that one. Come on back. Open up. Okay. Just take a little bit out. So see those are faceted too. Okay, these, we gotta see these trilobites. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this in a check bead, this color. I've seen it in glass beads. Um, beads, that have got some, beads that I have got from China. Um, they're not check, but I've seen this coating on them before. It's not paint, it's almost like a plating. It's really pretty. So I think the bead is, is either white or beige. I want to say it's beige. You can tell by the side. That's the color of what the bead actually is. And then they put this like, it's like a plating on here. It's orange. It's like a luster orange. I actually see a little bit of pink in it. Super pretty. I don't know what that's called. You know what? I wonder if I have some fire polish beads that have this coating. I just might. But I want to say I have this color in uh, Chinese rondelles. Okay. 
And then we have horse hair or horse eye beads. This is Crystal Picasso, I think. So it's a clear, crystal moon clear. And it has Picasso on the sides. Or travertine, but I want to say it's Picasso. It usually looks like this on the clear. Okay, I love those. Um, this box so far is reminding me of that necklace that I made. It's over there on my necklace bus. It was a continuous necklace. I did a tutorial on it. I showed how to make a continuous necklace and how to finish it off and tie your knots and stuff. So But, um, this, so far, is making me think of that necklace. I love that necklace. This is a pinch bead. And I can't tell what this color is. I think it's pink. Like an Indian pink. You know how when you get Preciosa crystals, there's a uh, color called Indian pink. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. That's what this kind of looks like. Wow. That's very gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I've never seen that before, that color there. It looks really good. With these colors, it looks awesome with the beige and the blue. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, and then more of these. Hair, horse hair, horse eye, I can't remember what it is. I want to say it's horse hair. I don't know why they call that. This is the same color. Yeah, it's blue. You know, when I, when I go shopping for these beads, it'll say turquoise blue or green turquoise. Or a blue turquoise and green turquoise. So maybe that's a blue turquoise, this bead. But I just call it blue or sky blue, baby blue, whatever. Those are nice too. I like those. Okay, and then I have never seen this before. This bead's really neat. It is table cut. At first, I thought it was that one rectangle bead that I have. It's a large bead, so it's kind of pricier. It's like a dollar, two dollars a bead. But um, it has a texture to it. Look at that. So there's a rectangle bead. It's um, like two of these put together and it has a texture like this on it. Those are cool. This is not crystal clear. It's actually like milky looking. Those are neat. It kind of looks like a um, slate. Like a slate tile. With a texture. I think those are really cool. First time I've seen this shape. And then these, these here, I think these are called star uh, seed beads. It has a little star in the middle. Focus camera. See that? And that star shape on its side looks really amazing in the seed bead. It actually looks like a melon to me. It makes me think of a melon. But um, I've got these, these beads before in the Bohem style box. It was in a necklace project that had blue, green, I think black, I'm not sure, seed beads. I'll see if I could find that project and put the picture up. But look at those, aren't they cool? They're so amazing. I really love those. Very fancy. These also come in purple. They're gorgeous in purple. But I think they come in a dark blue, a turquoise, like this blue. Turquoise blue color. They're really cool. There's a nice amount in the back. And this here is my favorite color. This is green turquoise. Doesn't look green to me at all, but that's what they call it. This is a 3mm check fire polish bead. This comes in different shades. 
So, there's one that's lighter than this. It's called Mint. It's more green. And there's also one I think that's darker than this, and that's Persian Turquoise. And also, you will see different shades because, you know, when they make this bead, it's not always the same exact color when they make it. They make it at different times. So you'll see the different color variations of the same bead. And when you look at them separate, it looks like the same bead. Then when you put them side by side, you will see that some are darker and some are lighter. Those are my fave. Awesome box so far. I love all the colors. Nice amounts. These are gorgeous. Um, I think I might have got these before in a Bohem cell box, but I don't remember if I got them around. I got them in this funny shape, this unique shape. It was for a bracelet. I made the bracelet, and I wore the bracelet a lot. I think it's in my jewelry box. This bead's really cool. I've mostly seen a bead like this in fuchsia pink with white. But here it is in turquoise. Very pretty. I would love to reorder those. Every one of them is different. You realize that? It's like a gemstone. Okay. And then these. This is yellow Picasso, which is very rare. I've never even seen it in a drop before. I have yellow Picasso in my stash in Super Duos and in 3mm Chick Fire Polish Beads. But that's pretty much it. It's hard to find. Look at how gorgeous. This is a really nice quality, by the way, I have to say, of Picasso. Because you see how it's blue and purple? That's the prettiest Picasso. They're not always the same. When you see that bluish, it's like a mint green, purple color. It's really nice quality. Those are gorgeous. I love those. Okay, I'll probably have to use those as earring drops because there's only two. Unless I buy more in the future. Okay. What next? These. I love these. I have these in my stash. In a dark red. Very dark. This bead's table cut. I don't know what it looks like in its original state, but I think it's very beautiful. It looks old. It looks aged. I like it a lot. Okay. And man, I'm wondering if we can remake the same necklace that I was talking about earlier, that continuous necklace that I did with all the Picasso beads. There were seed beads in it too. This is the same shade, yes. Hmm, no, it's green. It's very close though. Flower beads. These are so precious. Aren't they cute? And that's travertine on them. Oh, I like those together. Okay, and then this here. I don't know what this is. It's some kind of a flower. This is avocado green. Or chartreuse. This bead's pretty long. I think it's like an inch. I got a rule over here. No, it's actually three-fourths of an inch. Isn't it neat? It actually reminds me of those fancy acrylic beads. I love to collect those. Okay. And then these, oh my gosh, I was just saying that I got these. This is a uh, eight though. I have four and six millimeter. Check drugs. This is the beige color I was talking about. Wait. Those are slightly different. These are more mustardy looking. These are paler. 
I think the ones I have are like this, paler looking. We also have six millimeter in there. They are so gorgeous. Don't they look like caramel? It makes me think of caramel. Okay. Really nice selection of beads. This box is totally awesome so far. And here we go, six millimeter. Beautiful. I like yellow and blue together. Especially turquoise and a pale yellow. Those are nice. Beautiful quality. Okay. And then drops. Yes, turquoise Picasso drops. These are beautiful. Um, I don't know if I have these in my stash, but these are, you know, the beads I love to use to make flowers. So that's, this is more green in that one. This one's more blue. So see, I was just talking about different color variations of the same bead. It looks like it's the same, but once you put it together, they are a little different. These are small. These are really small drops. So see, these here are more green, and then even the blue with the turquoise in this one here is paler than that one. And those are greener. Okay, and then red with bronze. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh my, oh my gosh. Whoa, there's like spiral beads in there. And there's some kind of a giant focal bead. I can't really tell what it is though. And it looks like there's a... Uh, what you call it in there? Trilobite coins. This has bronze on it. Or gold. Those are pretty. Okay, and then more teardrops and turquoise. These are greener than that still. Yeah, oh, these are close. These teardrops are very close to those drugs there. Beautiful, there's eight in there. That's enough for a flower for one or two. Oh my gosh, they gave us daggers. There's a lot in this box, so, so much. Okay, so green turquoise, very pretty. Okay, and here's the trilobite I was talking about. Coin trilobite. And, is it here? Yes. So last time I got two of these beads in one box, it was for a Bohem cell box, it was a ocean themed necklace. And this trilobite is the same size as this hole here. So if you put him in there, it fits perfectly. So I love how they did that. I think that's cool. This is a gorgeous one. Really pretty, perfectly made. There's the side there. It's beautiful. See, the same size. It's amazing. When I was a kid, I was in somebody's driveway and they had a gravel road and I found a rock and I flipped it over and I found a fossil um, about the same size as this. It was a snail indented inside of a rock. It was so cool. I was really excited to find a fossil, especially being a child. And this turquoise here is actually closer to a uh, Persian turquoise. It's just a little bit lighter though. But this shade here is gorgeous. Beautiful. This is more green. I like this one more. Yeah, I like that one more. This is a small dagger. 
Um, I'm trying to think. I think there might be one dagger that's a little bit smaller than this in my stash. Beautiful. There's ten in here. Okay, I can't wait to get to the spiral beads, that giant bead. Oh my gosh. More flowers, white. This is travertine, I think. It actually looks really pale. So we got three of these flowers in this box. Yeah. They're so pretty. Those are nice. They look so aged to me. I love the aged beads. Aged Picasso. It's gorgeous. It's also kind of hard to find. Okay. And then, what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, there's still turquoise in that box. Looks like Matt Drux. This is a pendant. This is so cool. It looks like bread. Again, it looks very aged, old. It looks like it was found in the clay. It's beautiful. I don't think I've seen this one before. Unless I have it in green. I have a coin bead. It has a beautiful pattern on it, but I don't know if it's the same pattern as this. And I know it's large, so um, I would have to see. But... That's pretty. It looks like a cookie, too. Oh my gosh, it looks like a cookie. So, I think it's called, or a hamburger. <laughs> it looks like a hamburger, too. It's pretty thick. Is there a hole in it? There it is. Sometimes we've gotten check class beads that will hold us, and that's really sad. Because, you know, I would like to string it. I can't string it if there's a hole in it. Okay, so couple more things oh my gosh so I have these in my stash I have them in chartreuse and I recently got them in a ruby red with a uh, gold in the details man are they gorgeous and turquoise look at that it also looks like a cinnamon bun. Maybe I just have food on my brain. Those are pretty. I love spirals and swirls. I like making wire spirals. The one that's like a coin. You know what I'm saying? You take your wire and you make a spiral. Flatten it. Put a loop on it. Cut the wire. It's like a little decorative spiral charm. You can make them any size you want. Those are absolutely stunning another bag left and this is matte or acid washed I have to open up to tell I think it's matte acid washed or edge glass two different names for it is more eroded so this is smooth so I do that believe that is matte and recently I got some silicone beads. I didn't know that they came in what I bought. It was a surprise for me. I thought they were plastic beads. But, um, wow. Do they look like this. The silicone beads look exactly like these Czech matte beads. They're really strange. It's like a ball. Silicone beads. Like a super ball. Those are gorgeous. I love that shade. And I love the beige and turquoise together. So pretty. This is a really awesome box. I'm very excited about this box. This box makes me think of boxes that I've got in the past and some of the designs that I've made. There was another necklace that I made. Um, I think it had turquoise drops in it. it. also had red Picasso in it. I'll look for that picture and put it up now. Yeah, I love this box. I, I love opaque colors. I love turquoise, Picasso's, travertines. 
and this was a really awesome one so I love it so much so this is it I hope you guys enjoyed the box open the theme for this was sea and sand I will put a link for this box down there below in the description bar and I'm also going to put individual links to the beads you see here in case you just want a few things but not everything in the box so this is it thank you so much for watching please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and follow me on my social media sites. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.